Raiders first round pick Tyree Wilson played 37 total snaps against the Minnesota Vikings and 20 of those 37 snaps ended up with him lining up as a three technique or a four eye technique basically a defensive tackle the guy had a pretty damn good game now not every single one of his snaps was on the inside but the guy has started to put it together a little bit in my opinion so today we're going to analyze the tape against the Minnesota Vikings who in my opinion have a pretty damn good offensive line on this one here, Tyree Wilson actually gets an 8-yard sack. You guys can see that the Raiders are going to run a defensive line game. So what's going to end up happening is Adam Butler and Tyree Wilson are going to slant to the inside. Robert Splane is going to come around to the outside. Of course, you'll bring two guys off the edge. And you'll see on the inside, the defensive line game actually works. So Robert Splane's going to come around. And what actually ends up happening is Adam Butler is going to hold on to the center. This should have been called on Adam Butler, but it wasn't. Honestly, most of the time, these type of things don't get called. Great job by Butler to be able to hold on to both the center and the guard, which ultimately forces the guard here to have to pick either Tyree Wilson or Robert Spillane. He's going to let Wilson go, and he's going to end up picking up Spillane, which is technically the right thing to do for him. It's not his responsibility in this play to take on Wilson. It is up to the center to be able to get there, and the center is not going to be able to because, of course, Adam Butler holds him. Great job by the coach to design the hold. Uh, and, of course, for the Raiders, it pays off. This was third and five. This was actually the first play Tyree Wilson came into the game. It ended up being a sack. So, great job by Tyree Wilson to be able to get to the quarterback. Very, very fired up for this one. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, check this play out. One of the things that really, really sticks out to me about Tyree Wilson is the fact that he's long and lengthy. Uh, to me, putting Tyree Wilson at defensive tackle... And the long run may make sense because oftentimes he's going to outreach people. And Wilson's not a small football player, right? He's 280 pounds. He can absolutely play on the inside. But he is also 6'6". So this plays a great example of some of what you may get from a Tyree Wilson caliber player if he's playing on the inside. Right, now, I do understand he does get held on this play. There is a flag, but the flag is actually because Max Crosby's going to get held as well. Crosby also ends up getting the sack. This is third and 19, and you guys can see that the Raiders basically get off the field. Now, for me, the thing that sticks out with Tyree Wilson is the leverage aspect of it. As soon as he gets out of his stance, he's going to land the hands to the inside. And for Wilson, if you get the hands to the inside, you're going to be able to outreach most offensive guards. And you see that on this one. You can see that Dalton Risner is trying to get the hands to the inside. So when Wilson locks in initially with the left hand right here, Risner's going to bring the right arm around and he's going to try to bring it back to the inside. And it doesn't work. He's not able to reset because Tyree Wilson's going to extend out and Wilson's going to create that separation. And Risner does also end up falling. You can see he ends up stepping on the center. But to me, this is a phenomenal job by Tyree Wilson to use his reach and to be able to be a really, really good guard in Dalton Risner. So really nice job. Obviously, he gets pulled so he doesn't get credit for the sack. But, but that's a nice play right there. Let's get into the next snap. All right, you guys got another third and four here. Just a little bit of criticism for Tyree Wilson. Uh, one of the things that he is starting to do a little bit more now is he is trying to use the Hezzy move, which is to try to get the guard to bite either right or left. Uh, you can see as soon as he gets out of his stance, you see him kind of shift his body right, left, and then he ends up just locking in with the guard. Um, you can also see that Max Crosby explodes out of his stance and Tyree Wilson kind of does not. Uh, it's not a big deal. I think Wilson has gotten faster, but it is one of the things he needs to continue to work on. He isn't the fastest guy out of his stance yet. Obviously, he does look a lot better. And I think from a timing aspect of it, he's going to start to learn the cadence and those type of things. I think naturally he'll get better with that. Now, again, this is third and four. And although he does hezzy initially, he doesn't do anything outside the hezzy, right? Like he doesn't add a swipe or a spin or... He's not doing anything other than bull rushing on this one. And to me, that's the one thing he has to continue to develop. And I don't expect him to actually develop that this season. I would expect him to go into the offseason and really practice that, really understand, uh, and really learn at least one move and, and, and become a lead at that one move. Even if it's just a you know double hand swipe or if it's just a pin pull swim move, right? Whatever the move is, I need him to really, really develop at least one move going into next season because this right here is not going to work in the long run. Now, one of the things I do like with Tyree Wilson and Max Crosby lined up on the same side is Crosby is a natural pass rusher, so he's going to want to get upfield. Even on run plays, he wants to get upfield, and that makes sense. I think that's one of the ways the Raiders should continue to approach the game. 
I love Max Crosby pass rush 100% of the time, even against the run. Now, I say all that because when you put Tyree Wilson and Max Crosby together, one of the things Tyree Wilson does a really, really good job at is to reset the line of scrimmage. And this is a great example of that. So Crosby's going to pass rush, and the offensive tackle here is going to just kind of seal him out. Now, this is an outside zone here to the left, which means if number 64 is able to get around Tyree Wilson on this one, and if he's able to hook Tyree Wilson, this play pops. Of course, the center also has to reach on Divine Diablo, but he doesn't have to fully cut him off. Honestly, if he just makes contact with him, uh, it should be enough where Diablo will not be able to kind of get over the top and make the play. Now, I say all that, because if you guys watch Tyree Wilson, he's going to do a phenomenal job taking on this guard, getting the hands to the inside, and resetting the line of scrimmage. You can see him push this guy backwards. Uh, and from this angle, it may not be as noticeable, but he does a really, really nice job with the hands. He controls the guard. He pushes him backwards. And the running back is not going to be able to hit this to the outside because Tyree Wilson has that control. So the running back now has to cut this back to the inside. And to me, that's one of the benefits of having Tyree Wilson with Max Crosby. The guy's a really, really good run defender. I would argue Tyree Wilson at the defensive tackle spot is probably the best three technique run defender we would have. I know John Jenkins is probably the best interior run defender. And even if you lined him up in the three technique, he'd be phenomenal. But Tyree Wilson is also a natural run defender. So you get plays like this, right, where he's able to control a guy, especially a guard that he's able to kind of out leverage, out reach. Keep in mind, you know, number 64 here isn't a rookie this is a veteran player but yet Tyree Wilson a rookie is able to kind of control him a little bit so that's a nice job right there let's get into the next snap all right you guys check this play out Tyree Wilson's going to do a really nice job being able to make the play the Vikings are obviously going to run a screen pass on this one Tyson Chandler's going to catch the ball and Wilson's going to make the play really really nice job by Tyree to be able to recognize the play to chase it give pursuit from the backside and make the play now uh, obviously, to me, one of the things with Tyree Wilson is he has to really develop the ability to get out of his stance. Uh, we're going to slow this down here. If you guys watch Tyree Wilson, he's going to be the latest guy once again out of his stance. And to me, this is not something that you want from Tyree Wilson long term. Right? You can't have guys getting upfield and Tyree Wilson still hasn't moved. Again, I know this is one of the things that a lot of people have pointed out, uh, but I want you guys to watch Adam Butler here. Adam Butler is going to move before the ball even moves. You're going to see Butler, he's going to start to twitch before the ball moves. And to me, this is what Tyree Wilson has to do. He has to learn the cadence of the quarterback. He has to learn exactly when the ball is going to get snapped. And he has to learn when to move. I know it doesn't always work like that, but sometimes it does. You'll listen to the cadence and you'll go based off the cadence. Of course, that is a recipe for you know jumping off sides, but... Uh, there's a time and place to do it, and for Tyree Wilson, I think that would be one of the things that will help him be able to get out of his stance a little bit faster. Now, I'm not 100% out on Tyree Wilson developing as an edge player, uh, and this is why, you know, when you move Tyree Wilson to the inside, uh, he has to play the run, right? He's going to have to take on the uh, double teams. He's going to have to take on a lot of different things on the inside as opposed to being on the outside. The play right here picks up five yards, and Tyree Wilson obviously is going to get the double team by Christian Dersall and Dalton Risner, and he's going to get absolutely moved out of there. And to me, you can't have this right here, All right? That right there is not something you can do on the inside. Now, of course, do keep in mind, Tyree Wilson is not a defensive tackle. He hasn't played defensive tackle in his NFL career. He hasn't even played it for the Raiders, to be honest with you guys. But in this game specifically, they tried him at that defensive tackle position, and he he looked good, right? But a lot of what he was doing was he was playing third downs. He was playing pass uh, rushing situations specifically. And then he was lined up as like that long three technique, right? Or the four eye technique in this instance, which is the inside shade of the offensive tackle. And this is first and 10. So he now has to play the run, right? It's not just all about pass rushing. And uh, these are the little things he'll have to work on if he wants to become a true defensive tackle. It's also part of why I think the Raiders should continue him on the edge, at least for now. You got a second and six. Wilson's going to do a pretty nice job collapsing the pocket. Uh, he's going up against Christian Darius on this one. The quarterback feels the pressure. He kind of gets out of there. Uh, and he basically ends up throwing the ball away. It's a pretty nice job by Wilson. Uh, he's going to bull rush once again. Of course, that's the one thing we've talked about. He has to learn to do more than just a bull rush. All right? He has to learn to, to really fine-tune the pass rush technique, right? the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Not a big deal. Pretty nice job generating pressure. Let's get into the next snap. 
Now, of course, you got another one here. This is a really nice rep by Wilson. A bull rush once again, but this time he's going to get physical, and he's going to pressure the quarterback. This was third and six, so this is a key moment of the game for the Raiders. The score is still 0-0 at this point. 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter. This one reminds me of the one that Wilson had against the Cowboys, uh, where he got inside. You know, He got that runway as well, although this one's not as long of a runway, but he does kind of slant this towards the left a little bit there as he's about to make contact. Gets the hands to the inside, helmet, everything lands perfectly, and that right there is a really, really nice shot. And he's all in the quarterback's face. Uh, he does get the double team at the end from the right guard, which basically stops him from actually getting a sack. But I love the elite power that Tyree Wilson has. And I know it's not perfect. I know he doesn't have eight, nine sacks as a rookie. Uh, he hasn't looked anything near how Will Anderson Jr. looks, but I think they're two completely different players. I think Tyree Wilson is not as fast as Will Anderson. So Anderson could get sacks, you know, just kind of running after the quarterback a little bit and those type of things. And he has gotten some of those. Wilson's not going to get those. He's not as fast. He doesn't change direction as quick. Uh, Wilson's a lot more power-based. And I think if you're power-based, it's going to take you longer to develop, right? Because you got to fine-tune the hand-to-hand -hand passers technique. So uh, let's go ahead and get into a couple more reps from this game. Now, of course, part of us making these videos here is to really talk about Tyree Wilson and kind of where he's at in his development. This is a nice play because Tyree Wilson is going to try to rip, and it's not very effective. And again, this is just so we know where Tyree Wilson kind of is at the moment. Uh, Wilson is going to lock in with the left tackle, Christian Derisaw. He's going to try to bull rush. Pretty nice job initially. If you guys look at Tyree Wilson's right hand, he's going to grab the left hand right there of Christian Derisaw, and then he's going to rip with his own left hand and the rip is not effective at all like that there's just no power to it there's no uh, physicality to it if you want to rip you really got to get your left hand in there with power with physicality and right now it's not there for Wilson right he just doesn't know how to properly use the hands and it's not a big deal right uh, it's part of us criticizing him today because this, these are the little things he has to develop as we kind of go forward you're going to get a two yard run loss on this one Tyree Wilson does a phenomenal job with the balance, keeping himself up and kind of getting in there to make the play. Obviously, the play was blown up from the start. Jack Jones blitzed. He basically blew the, the entire play. Uh, Max is there as well. But Wilson from the other side also does a fantastic job kind of keeping himself up. I want you guys to think about this play here. Uh, Christian Dersaw is a very, very good tackle uh, because of things like this. He knows Tyree Wilson's going to try to lock in with him and Dersaw is going to basically just chop the hand down. And that right there forces Tyree Wilson off balance. Wilson expected Darisol to be there. And he expected that as he threw his left hand out there, that Darisol will catch him and he'll kind of keep him up. Darisol obviously does not do things that a normal offensive tackle would do. So he's going to swat the guy's hands down. And most guys are going to fall forward here. Wilson does a fantastic job with the left hand. It's going to land on the ground. And he's going to actually use that left hand to kind of keep himself up right there. So that's a really, really nice shot by Wilson. And then with that, he does kind of dive forward and he gets in there and he helps make the play. Not a whole lot, right? Because the play was already made from that aspect. But again, I do like the fact that he kind of keeps himself up as Darisaw kind of just snatches him forward. Check this one out. Tyree Wilson's going to do a pretty nice job being able to generate a little bit of pressure, or at least win the rep. Uh, he doesn't technically get to the quarterback. Second and seven, incomplete pass. Uh, I do like how Tyree Wilson is able to kind of jump cut to on, on this one. Uh, you can see Darisol is going to jump set because it is a play action. So he's going to basically get out of his set. He's going to go directly towards Tyree. And when you jump set, you do leave yourself vulnerable to the inside. And Wilson's going to jump to the inside. And he's going to dip his shoulders as well. And to me, that's a really, really nice job. Now, Wilson's in a winning spot at this point. Wilson has the ability to get to the quarterback, but his feet are actually going to get tangled with the running back. And that right there, plus what Christian Derrissaw kind of does, does end up allowing him to recover. But I still do like the play initially by Tyree. Let's get into the next snap. Now, of course, just to wrap this video up, Tyree Wilson is not the perfect player today. Let's just be honest. Uh, so far, he hasn't been a, a good rookie defensive lineman. You know, you can look at every single defensive lineman in the top three rounds, and Wilson's at the bottom of the list uh, with Byron Young, the other defensive lineman we took in the third round. And he's hasn't looked good this season. But one of the things I will say is Tyree Wilson has massive upside. Rather, it's at D-tackle, D-end, off the edge, whatever it is, he has upside, and I think he will develop. And, of course, me personally, 
I will hold all criticism of him until about week four or five of next season, because by then we should know enough of Wilson of where he's at with his development. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys next time with another video.